Hi guys. Sorry, I look so messy. My hair's like a mess, but whatever. You see me looking worse. Like tonight, you saw me looking like absolute hell. So this, let's just say this is an upgrade, okay? Um, I thought I would start with this question because that's what I found so frustrating about tonight was that it wasn't shown that Duca already knew, like this whole him saying that this happened behind his back thing. I'm like. What the frig? It's so frustrating because I had respect for Duca and we left things in such an amicable, nice place. But when you're with your partner and you're with the group and you're filming together and everything said, you know what's said in front of your face, but then people go off and they film these side interviews and you have no idea what's being said in these side interviews. And little did I know that he's like spinning this story when he's going off to these side interviews, acting like as if he's hurt and like as if he genuinely wanted. That was never the case, that was never the case. Let me go back quickly though. Um, the whole him knowing, did he know? Yeah, he knew, he knew. He knew before everything happened. The minute that Matthew and I had a little bit of a sparky thing, I looked at him and thought, oh, maybe I fancy him. Like this might be something. I went and told Duca. I had a long conversation, really, really nice conversation with Duca about it. He knew, Matthew and Duca also had a conversation after that, like a, I don't know, bro, man to man kind of conversation. Duca gave his blessing, said go ahead, so there's nothing between us, that I don't fancy her, she's not for me, all of that stuff. And then, I then watched tonight, and he's saying like, it happened behind his back, and you know, she'll regret it in five years time. I'm like, fuck. I did not know Duca. I thought I knew him. I did think that I knew him, like I knew all of the elements of him, elements of him, but I don't know him at all. That's what I've realized over the past two weeks. I've realized that I just don't know him at all. He, um, I saw him at the Unveiled reunion the other day. This was maybe like a week or so ago. Had a really nice conversation. He said he felt bad for how I've been treated by the press, by trolls. He said he wanted to reach out to me and like check in on me, but he felt like he might be rubbing it in my face and all this stuff. Like, but the loveliest conversation, just like putting everything to bed, just being like friends. It was really nice. And then three days later, he then goes to the press and um, sells an article on me, absolutely slating me, absolutely slating me. And I'm just like baffled by it all baffled by it all because we left things on such nice amicable terms and then i don't know uh as in like is it like a proper marriage no it's not like like legally binding or or anything like that um you just you know you get your vows you say your vows uh and then that's it you don't have to like get a divorce or anything like that it's just um it's just a tv marriage what i'm gonna call it like you know cat and alfie aren't really married just like that that we're not actors, we're uh, just a bunch of nutters, really. <laughs> Thank you, guys.